Hello there, it's David Duford yet again at DavidDuford.com where I help insurance agents like you become top producing insurance professionals. We're continuing our five part series on goal setting for 2019, specifically today, discussing in video four, buy in. Now, what is buy in and why should this matter to you? So, it's one thing to project that I want to learn 100,000, 200,000, whatever your number is, every single year. And I'm going to do X amount of activity per week, per month, per day. And here's the products I'm going to focus on. And here's my commitment maniacally to uh, getting as many people uh, that I can see every single day. And, uh, and I'm going to achieve that daily goal on a, on a daily basis. It's easy to say all this stuff. But what you have to understand is that more often than not, the problems that people have with envisioning what it is that they put out to do is actually buying in and believing whatever their convictions are. Too often do we have these convictions that are just basically flashes in the pan. We put down on paper if we're lucky. Most of us never put our, our goals on paper. If you do, congratulations, you're in the 3% of the population. But there, some of us have goals, we verbalize them at least, and we start to work on them, run into a little difficulty, and then falter and go back into our cyclical problems of never really getting anywhere in life and uh, being a part of the uh, the mediocrity. So why is this really important? You've got to really believe in what it is that you're committing to, okay? This is the cornerstone and the crux to everything that you set out and, and do. In fact, this is probably one of the first things you have to do. You have to believe yourself when you say, I am going to earn $200,000 a year, whatever your number is. And you have to not just logically put it together like I've laid out. You've got to actually believe in your heart of hearts that this is something you deserve. That's really important. And it's something that you can actually achieve. And that you are somebody who deserves it and who can do it if you just execute. And that's the thing, guys, is that belief is really the cornerstone. It's a weird and tangible type of thing. And it's something I can't say or make you do. It's something you've got to like actually believe in that you can actually do. So do you believe that you can actually do what you set out to do? Um, I can tell you, how do you believe in yourself if you're not 100% convinced? Well, you have to be. You, you can't proceed until you do and you have complete conviction that this is something that you deserve and you can do. How do you get to that point? I mean, it's difficult, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, I can tell you that for me, my conviction has always been, I have always seen myself being able to accomplish something great. I have always seen myself as being worthy of excellence, of achieving a high level of, 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 of uh, experience in life, that this is something I deserve. This is something I can easily accomplish. Part of this conviction, of course, it's, it's been some years it's great, some years it's been questionable. You know, it's not something that's been level, but I can tell you one thing that's really helped me uh, reinforce this idea in my mind is I have been um, lucky to talk with other insurance agents who are very successful. I've been able to do interviews, as you guys have seen on my channel. And then also I've been reading, I've read tons of insurance sales books, tons of autobiographies and biographies over the past year or two. And I can tell you one thing that I've learned is that all of the great people in life, not just insurance sales, but just life in general, have faced extreme difficulties. Uh, time and time again, there's these threads of commonality that come out with people who have achieved greatness. And it's that they've struggled heartily in their lives and they've severely doubted themselves and at times even quit or seriously thought about quitting. And the thing is, is that made me feel great because hell, I've failed myself out. And uh, it was uh, something that was unacceptable in my mind. I definitely wasn't, I'm not a failure. I wasn't gonna let myself quit that much, but it was. It, it's comforting to know that many of the greats just aren't great by design. They've had to be tasked against some of the life's uh, most difficult tasks and overcome those and surmount those difficulties. And so it's the same with you. Uh, you've got to believe that you can overcome this stuff and understand that you're in a position, especially if you're struggling and you don't like your circumstances, that you can't overcome them if you just understand, look, other people have been in your position too. You're not alone where you are in your life and you can overcome this stuff. And you can. There, I've seen people who are intelligent, not so intelligent, who come from white collar, blue collar backgrounds to be successful in this business. There's no, there's nothing out there as far as what pedigree you have in life or anything like that that dictates whether or not you're successful. It's your sheer will to achieve. And you've got to believe in yourself first before any of that can happen. And the other thing that's important too, I'll mention quickly before I conclude this video, is you also have to have family convinced 
and back behind you as well. It's very hard to commit yourself to the throes of a straight commission sales opportunity where people regularly tell you no and demean you and disrespect you. It's hard to commit to this business when, when you go home every night and your wife thinks you're full of crap. And your kids aren't behind you, neither is your wife or your family. They think you're crazy. They think you should go back to getting that 9 to 5 with that guaranteed income and all that stuff, if you know what I mean. And it's very difficult. So my recommendation to you is buy, get them to buy in. There's very few of us that have the mental and emotional fortitude to just say, well, screw you and what you think. I'm going to do what I want. Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, it's better to get them to buy into it and help keep you accountable. As I can tell you, uh, having some level of accountability, especially with people you love, that love you unconditionally, that will trust you to achieve things and put a lot on you, will help you move yourself out of your discomfort zone or your comfort zone into a level of discomfort. So that's when you grow and that's when you help get those accomplish those goals that you are out to achieve. My name is David Duford at daviddufort.com. If you'd like to learn more about my mentorship program and how I help agents sell, whether experience or new, at final expense, mortgage protection, Medicare supplements, and annuity sales, go to it again, daviddufort.com. Click the link at the top that says join David's agency. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below if you have anything you'd like to say. And again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.